YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. Man, man, man. Now, I actually had these sneakers since last year. Fall last year, end up getting them for a steel deal, but so much stuff ended up happening, guys. Now, surprisingly, I ended up getting these from StockX, and the price was definitely real, real late. Um, I already know how the sneaker like break in and stuff so my review of it is actually going to be a lot better and it's the new balance uh miami new balance miami y'all believe me now for the price of 102 dollars that's even after fees guys and y'all know stock x go up in you sometimes the fees be so bad sometimes that like more inserts and stuff but the fees be so bad that like it almost discourages you from buying a sneaker. I guess some people kind of like live with it. First from made in New Made in England, Wembley. So this is not my first time reviewing a fifteen hundred on my channel. And thanks for the two thousand plus subscribers. Definitely appreciate it. Hey man, I don't beg for views or subs, man. I just put out you know videos of sneakers that. I like if y'all like it great you know what I mean and I appreciate the views and all that guys I buy what I like I just you know I just the, that true meaning of a sneaker guy sneaker so first thing first these are actually one of my favorite models the New Balance 1500 definitely an easy fit and a sporty kind of like look I'm surprised I may I may didn't touch this the I may Leon Dior guy and uh yeah man look at that toe look at the shape fly fuego um that pink on there now i know everybody you know when they see a miami colorway like obviously the lebron miami eight colorway or whatever south beach joints sold out but i don't think that many people know what to do with a south beach colorway for like a fit all like that um I, that's why i think they kind of linger sometimes because at one point every sneaker brand was kind of like coming out with this colorway and uh you know the colorway was hot for a moment and it was really selling for a moment because it was the trend at the time but now as they kind of come out this coat these kind of colorways come out i kind of like see them sit sitting so you know um so first thing first we got the leather joint to get the leather paneling right here definitely soft soft it's not like super premium but it's not like super cheap neither so it's kind of like that in between you know, uh, and it's still flexible. Like if you push your finger into it, you would actually make a mold. Going around the back, you also still have that leather as well that wraps around with that 3M or glowing, not 3M, uh, that reflective bar in the back. That's like one of them subtle details. That's kind of cool. You notice that at night a little bit with the flash going to the top of the tongue you do have the new balance as well and that nice Miami pink then you got that bold teal at the top panel right here near the toe cap area this definitely finger swiping suede new balance embroidered on the side going to the mid sole you guys already see the New Balance right there. Then you also got the end cap. And the end cap actually stands for a core of soft cushioning of EVA in the midsole with a tough polyurethane rim for more support and durability. Then 
that's the only fancy piece of technology on this sneaker but that still doesn't take away from this sneaker you don't need a big souped up sneaker with all kinds of crazy tech all in it going to the toe box you do have a mesh you also still had a reflective on the top of the toe box as well going along the side gray paneling right here this is like a new book it's not as plush as this teal version down here but it's still soft as well soft to the touch now these are the laces that actually came with this new balance I'm not the biggest fan of these like rugged New Balance flat laces. I would much rather prefer a regular lace. So we got the New Balance made in England at the top and obviously the pink and silver on the side as far as the end. So going to the end sole, you also have that white. Not a big fan of this white sock liner because I do wear a lot of black socks inserting and taking your foot out and everything is just a mess eventually you know this is going to discolor all right here you know so i do try to clean it up too i definitely like these for the steel deal price that it was for you know typically the 1500 is usually going for like 170 180 sometimes 220 no telling if it's a collab so when i do see these actually go on sale i do take note as far as like the history on this not too deep though guys like these came out in 1989 and these were meant to actually be a sport sneaker like a sport athletic sneaker but from the looks of this i don't really get athletic maybe running you could pull off this was also designed by stephen smith he also designed such classics like the 574 and the 997 definitely fly staples and new balance catalog so comfort straight out the box i would give these a like when i first got them they already comfortable anyway so i would give them like an eight straight out the box uh break in time you probably looking at if you actually wear these you got to wear these for i would say the really good a good feel of them wear them for about almost like a week you would definitely start feeling the comfort it gets better with time guys and as far as the break-in, the break-in is the leather part right here. I don't really too much have a toe box problem because I do stuff my sneakers after I wear them every time. Toe box creasing, I don't too much have to worry about that, but I would hate for this nice um, suede new buck to actually start creasing up as far as wear. The materials still feel plush. Um, as far as like cleaning this sneaker though, I would definitely wash I will watch what I, how I clean this with the materials. One bad, a few bad swipes can definitely make this not so plush anymore or discolor it. Um, as much as we like high quality sneakers or sneakers that feel high quality, all these different dyes and everything, dye the end of these sneakers and these suede and pig, pig skin suede can definitely come out or fade when not washed right or clean completely. So me, I would kind of like, uh, dab if I got this dirty or something like that you know just dab it a little bit um, no hard scrubbing or anything like leather or something like that or like a tough new buck or something or a short hair new buck so my overall rating on this sneaker 10 being a grail classic pale fire da 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 I'm talking about everything wrapped in one comfort model and color wrapped into one one being hell no so 10 I'm giving <laughs> So uh, it's not a 10, but I would give this a, a strong 7.5. Some days, like when it's sunny out, this is this is that go-to summer spring sneaker and we starting to wind down, but sometimes it's an eight when that sun's shining, but yeah, so I give it about like a 7.5. I don't wanna round up all my sneakers, like all of them just like eights, they not. But this one, I do believe is better colorways than this, but this is not like, the worst colorway this is definitely i would say out of the 1500 colorways i've seen thus far probably top 15 top 12 colorways maybe even top 10 if i'm really like cutting it like close close uh, but it's not like in my top five 
uh, New Balance colorways. I've seen some that really, really look over the top. You know what I mean? That really just like, it look like food. You know what I mean? Like the color, like, you know what I mean? But it's no knock to these. I don't buy sneakers I don't like. I don't buy sneakers to this on camera or something like that because I'm the only one losing at the end of the day and uh, yeah so this was definitely a nice come up stock X surprised me though guys they came through with the clutch for the steel deal even after fees and uh, you guys think down below what do y'all think about the 1500s I think the 1500s is definitely one of the top five models that New Balance have one of my favorite stay tuned peace